And welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 for the PlayStation 4. Hi my friends, welcome back. So, so far throughout this playthrough, there have been levels that have been unbearable. And this level is actually called unbearable, because it is unbearable. We're being chased by a giant, really angry, pissed off polar bear. Maybe because we keep, like, you know, just, I don't know, taking the small bear out for a spin all the time. Maybe he's getting a little bit annoyed about that. I mean, it is kind of animal abuse if you think about it. Anyway. Let's let the terror ensue, shall we? It's like you're not getting away with this shit anymore. Oh crap. Literally nearly am getting killed here. This is where the game really ups the difficulty because... Um, you now have enemies on the same track as you thinking the same thing. Wow, I really shouldn't have picked on the little guy. Yeah, right, so that is one member of the polar bear family dead, or knocked out, I assume. Here comes the second one. But yeah, we have everything, you know, we have mine speed ramps, we have electric, uh, you know, gates and stuff. There's just so much here that's trying to get in our way. So far, you know, this guy normally causes me trouble. <laughs> right, so... If you, don't, if you go down there, there's actually a secret path. I'm not going to take that, but you can do if you like, because I'm going to miss out on the crystal if I do that. But if you want to go down there, that should take you somewhere else. I'm assuming that is the one that does so, so make sure that you get the checkpoint first in case it's not and you end up dying. But I do know for an absolute fact that one of the uh, polar bear levels do in fact take you to another place where you can get like a trophy and stuff like that, because you're finding hidden exits out of stages and stuff. Um, but I'm not doing that, because I have to get the crystals. I'm not going for the bonus stuff. Okay, got a life. And there's four nitros there, so that's the remaining boxes. Okay, cool. Well, they're dead now. And we may be soon as well. I'm going to try and get all the boxes in these levels, because it is quite fun. It certainly makes the whole thing a heck of a lot more challenging. I wish I had the speed shoes. Ah, oh, that I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. That's exactly the same gecko that used to freaking kill me every other time as well. Because what's unfair about that is the speed ramp actually sends you flying into him. You don't really have enough time to sort of, you know, second guess that. So I normally try and spin there if I can. Okay, jump over that one. Spin under there. I could not spin under there. Oh, damn it. Oh, this is getting too freaking close now. <laughs> oh, no. Just to add insult to injury. Well, let's see if we can rustle up the rest of the boxes while riding this one. Oh, no. I love how the small guy doesn't die. It's just me. I'm the only one that can be killed by TNT, apparently. So I see where, you know the limits of animal abuse and that are stopped. I see where they draw the line there. <laughs> Alright, 20 more boxes apparently. Oh, I, maybe maybe that's got something to do with the little... Uh, yeah, actually thinking about it. Yeah, that is. Okay. Never mind. I'm guessing the, uh, the little secret route that I was talking about actually gives you the remaining boxes, perhaps. Um, I don't know. You guys will have to sort of play with that and see what you come up with. I can't remember exactly how I did that. It's been a while ago now. Alright, so that is unbearable taken care of. I don't think that's the only uh, bear level. I think we have another one later on. Failing that, I think it's on one of the uh, secret floors right at the very bottom of the warp room. So that takes care of that. And that will now hopefully give us a boss room. Straight after we get interrupted by either you know Cortex or Coco. You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather, and my <laughs> our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to thwart you. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next warp room. Okay, sure, whatever. So, let's go ahead and fight Tiny Tiger. 
And no, this isn't the kind of tiger that you'd see on your favourite box of cereal. No, this is this is one really angry, fed up with life tiger. Okay, so the general way of beating this guy is the platforms that are green are safe. As soon as they start glowing red, it means they're going to fall off. So the trick is to try and lure him onto one if you can. But try and make sure that if they start going red after he's fallen down, that you get onto another one that is safe. Because I've done that before. I've seen him going down. I'm like, yay, you lose. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I go falling down as well. It's like, oh, that's actually not good. I mean, you can kind of trail him around a bit if you want. It's up to you. Okay. Oh, I hope they come back. I have to jump. I was going to say, I have to jump there because I can't jump towards him. Oh, damn it. Okay. This is kind of tight at the moment. I need to really try. Oh, damn it. Crying out loud. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, he fell down as well. I get it. Right, let's try that again. Wait, what happened? Oh my... Oh no! I was trying to figure out what the hell happened. I thought that I died. I thought that I died and then I looked at his... I need to watch that back in the editor because I don't have a clue what happened there. Ah. Uh, I, I don't even know what happened. I was like really confused by that. Because I know that he fell off, did, did I? I'm going to have to check that back, that's really perplexed me. I thought that I died there, and I look back just now and he's got one bar of health left. And I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, right, so... He's down to his last bar of health now. I have no idea what happened there. Okay. I guess we'll just see what happens now. Okay, so far we've got a safe square that's getting slowly damaged. There you go, that's what I was... Oh no, he didn't jump on it. Oh no! Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> oh dear. That was really close, actually. I wasn't really sort of focusing on that. Like the, I remember now the last platform is just like, you know, one on its own. And you have to get to it before all the other ones fall down. So that's like really, you know, kind of hard at times. Okay, so that is actually, yeah. That's that floor taken care of. We don't need to worry too much about that one anymore. So, I guess we're now done with that. Let's go up to the next floor. Okay. What do we have now then? Oh yeah, these levels start getting really irritating. I remember these ones. Um, oh man, I don't know which one to go into next. I hate behaving. So maybe I should start with that one to try and get it out of the way. Oh my god, yeah. Cold Hard Crash is on the same floor. This level, this floor is going to be fun, guys. This level, yeah. This level is going to be annoying. And the rest of the levels on this floor are going to be even more annoying. So that's great. That's really, really great. But I better behave myself and not get too angry with the game because PS4 pads aren't exactly cheap to replace. And I'm not sure if they ever will be, either. So, we're going to jump straight into this one. Oh, hello. Yeah, you're gone. No. I hate you guys as well. Everything in this level tends to just try and kill you. Like, literally everything. There they are. These beehives, man, I'm telling you. This is why you stock up on Aku Aku masks. You save it for these levels, trust me. You're safe under here, but nitro boxes and uh, the sledgehammer dude, yeah, they, they can still kill you. So that's why you just basically try and keep it as safe as possible. Leave me alone. Ugh. Can I get that life there? I've got a feeling the future levels are going to ensue that I need it. Let's jump under here. There is a trick for getting 99 lives, by the way, guys. Um, 
I think you have to hit every single bee back to the hive. Every single one. I think you have to create like a chain of five. So, you know, just try that one if you can. They're coming back for me, yeah. That, I mean, at least I got rid of the nitro boxes, I suppose. That That's the thing. Which way are you going? You're going that way, okay. Oh. Okay, he's not going to come after me, so what I'll do here is I'll wait for the electric current to stop. Okay, go. Go away! Ah! See what I mean? See what I freaking mean? These bees don't let up. Okay, too much danger in one short amount of time there. I grab every single one of fruit. Go away! Ah! I don't like this level. I hate this level. Oh look, nitro boxes. Dude! Yeah, that's the first thing that I thought when I saw those. That's actually a secret way out of the level, guys. That takes you to the uh, the hidden floor in the warp room as well. So if you want to go to the top of that, that will take you uh, out of this level. If you if you really don't like it. Um, but you won't get the crystal, so you might want to make sure that you do that. Oh, there's a checkpoint. At least get the checkpoint first. Great. Ugh. This is another level, by the way, that sucks if you're trying to get all the relics. Oh, they're coming after me. Oh, damn it. Seriously? They don't normally come from that way. They normally just... They normally start chasing you when you run in front of the beehive. I guess that's not always the case. Right, screw it then. I'm just going to run. Oh, no. Damn it. I pressed the skid button. Why didn't you do that? Now I'm going to start losing lives. And I'm not at all surprised when it comes to this level. I'm really not. Go away. Skid under. That's it. No. Ah. Damn. Leave me alone. You don't have enough time, man. <laughs> you don't have enough time. You weren't there, man. You didn't see what it was like. Go away. Go away. Skid under. Spin. Spin again. Spin again and again. You spin me right round. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, damn you! What the hell? Look how close I am. I literally died in midair. That's how close I was to that checkpoint box. <sighs> okay. Go away. No, straight under. Leave me alone. No, no. Oh, damn! What is with this level? Why does it suck so hard? I'm not even on Cold Hard Crash yet. I'm not even on Cold Hard Crash, and yet this... Oh my god, what the hell is going on now? What the actual hell is going on now, game? Because you're really starting to tick me off now. This is getting bad for me. Go under... Oh my god. Oh no, I had an Akuaku Mask. Keep moving, keep moving. The game decided to have a soul all of a sudden. Leave me alone, 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 no, no, no. Oh. Okay. Oh god, it never ends. It never ends. Look. Look at this. Oh jeez. It just doesn't stop, does it? Even the bonus stage says screw you. Oh damn it again with the nitro boxes. I don't even care for the box gem. Why am I partaking in this horrendous activity? <laughs> well, I'm getting a lot of wampa fruits out of it. Go under. Okay, we might be alright actually. I thought they were going to chase me to this section. They probably will here though. So spin and get away from you as well. <laughs> Okay, nice. Screw you. I wish I could run faster here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, damn it. I thought I was spinning under the ground. I thought that's what was happening there, but apparently he decided to just die instead. Screw this game at times. Wow. Seriously? Like, okay. I thought that I could... Uh, wow, okay, what am I doing? Like, headbutting his chest before I die? What is actually happening there? 
Because it doesn't seem to me that that's really, like, justifiable for a death, in my opinion. Right, I guess I'm probably going to go under here straight away. There you go. And I'm probably going to do the same over there, which is what I probably should have done in the first place. Right, you starters can die. If only I could spin away that freaking beehive. Oh, great. Look at that. Look at that BS right there. I think they're going to chase me still, aren't they? No. Okay, I've got all the boxes. Yay! I've got all the boxes in that stage. Well, that certainly made the uh, conclusion of this episode a bit more positive. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad then. I'll take that. That's enough for me to be happy with. Right, so there's only nine crystals left in this entire playthrough, and then we are actually done with this game, guys. We have two more floors left, including this one. And on this floor, of course, we have levels such as Cold Hard Crash. And from here on out, levels are going to start getting a lot harder for us now. Uh, okay. Nice. Well, I guess that's probably going to conclude this episode. In the next episode, guys, I would like to try and clear this floor, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll certainly try and get at least three levels done if I can. But it looks like we'll probably be going into Ruination next. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Alright, guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.